Let's talk about the environment. The ongoing special sensitization program of the National Orientation Agency on flooding arising from the overflow of the Lago Dam in Cameroon reached the people of Agenabode in Isako, East Local Council area of Edo State, with a message that community members should beware of the rising level of the Niger trough in that area. The agency's flood sensitization evaluation team who arrived at the community observed that the river bank has moved more than 50 meters inwards towards the community market within the last 18 days. The engagements began with a visit to the traditional ruler of the community, Okumagu of Wano Kingdom, His Royal Majesty George Oshiapie Gabo, who praised the NOA for its consistent messages on the coming flood. He expressed gratitude for the NOA's efforts, recognizing the sensitization program as a timely initiative in light of recurring flood issues. The team, led by Nora Kobe, who is Director of Planning, Research and Strategy, conveyed the message from the Director General, Lanrui Saunilu. The Deputy Director of Press, Paul Odeye, joins me on the news now for more updates. Mr. Day, good to have you join us on TVC News at 10. Tell us more about this special sensitization visit and your findings. Thank you. Good, good evening, everyone. Uh, about two weeks ago, NOA was informed. Are you listening to me? Yes, please, Mr. Day. Yes. The National Education Agency was informed by NISA that the Cameroon authorities have started releasing the water from the Lagdo Dam. In fact, it started exactly on the 17th of September. And so it became imperative that the agency go, it, go to work to sensitize Nigerians. Director General Malam Laroy Sao Nilo immediately constituted a committee led by uh, three direct, two directors and myself to go around the state to ensure that our mob community audition and budget officers are at work talking to communities about the effect of the, the overflow of Lado Dam. So far, we have been to Kogi State. Yesterday, we were in Edo State. And today, we are in Delta State. The common um, thing we discovered was that some of these community members are looking at it as something that happens every year. And so they do not really think it's a threat. But that also what they discover in, a, in Kogi, for instance, is that some of them are actually listening and, uh, to what the NOA is saying, that they must leave the community. There's a fishing community along near the Motala Bridge in in Kogi State, where we visited two days ago. As we were there, many of them were living. All Again, right. the for instance, yesterday, we saw many of them leaving by boats from, by boats to either the, 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 the community across the, the river. All right, Mr. Day. But the important message, the, yes, sir. Oh, yes. I, I was going to ask about what synergy exists between you, between NOA, NEMA, and other agencies of government to ensure that these people who probably do not have alternative homes, uh, you know, that they have at least a safe place to stay pending when this phase is over. Yes, in Kogi State, Yeah, in Kogi State, we did the sensitization along with the state uh, emergency management agency and the uh, other officials of, of government. And it was at that point that the state government in Kogi told the people that they had about 40 IDP camps for people who are who likely be affected. So uh, it's a joint effort between us, the NOA, and some of the state government institutions. In Agani Bode yesterday, one of the revelations we got was that the state government was expecting the federal government to, uh, to come and do IDP. 
and uh, our director in in uh, State has been directed by the Director General to go visit SEMA in in uh, those State to ensure that there's a place where those who are asking to relocate we will, will stay. It's a, it's a, it, we, were so, we were happy that in a, a, again about the yesterday, the director of social uh, services was with us and he explained some of the effort they are making to move people out of the uh, the area. All right, then. Thank you very much. Deputy Director of Press NOA, Paul O'Day. Thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 10.